What's up, Bob here. Starting a new series today. It's called The Hunt for Licorice Pizza. That's right, folks. We're looking for records. You're gonna go along with me on an actual dig. We're gonna try to find something good, just one record, and hopefully we'll get something. So, I'm in the car, and we're about to get started. Yeah, so that was the first uh, shop I've been in where they were handing out gloves, blue gloves. I prefer to just use hand sanitizer as the gloves will be around for the next 10,000 years, you know. But what are you going to do? People want to be safe, so I can't blame them. It was a pretty nice record here, actually. Very, very nice. Um, all the good stuff's uh, really expensive, though. into the guitar shop and my good friend Eric gave me this boom raccooner chicken skin music well that was nice wasn't it all right now um as you can see from the video it was a long day of digging around town and I did manage to find a few good records, and we're going to get into them right now. Showed this earlier. Bam, Rock Hooters, Chicken Skin Music, that's right. My good friend Eric at the Guitar Shop gifted this to me while I was in there, and um, really pretty stoked about it. Pretty nice original copy on Reprise, yeah, that's right. And... Um, Got just a little bit of ring wear, but otherwise in great shape. Now, 
Ry Cooter, if you don't know, he's a bit of a guitar virtuoso, primarily slide and finger style. A musician's musician, if you will. He's uh, been around for a long time. Um, you know, he's played on other people's records. He was a session musician. Uh, he's done movie soundtracks. He has um, put out lots of cool solo records. I have a bunch of his music digitally, but don't really have much of it on vinyl other than the Crossroads soundtrack. And <laughs> I was thinking when Eric gave me this, yeah, I'm going to find some more Rakuta records. I, I'm really, I think I'm ready to, to dive into this again. And if you haven't seen Richard Riley's video about Ry Cooter. Uh, he does kind of a deep dive on all the records. I will link that at the end of this video um, so you can check that out. But yeah, Ry Cooter, you know, he's out there playing heavily modified Fender Stratocasters known as Cooter Casters. These are strats that have, you know, um, a different pickup arrays primarily used for slide guitar playing. Um, you know, it, it, he's a man that is not afraid to modify an old Fender guitar. So, <clears throat> Cooter Casters, jazz, ragtime, blues, Cuban music, stuff from south of the border is what you're going to hear on this. This is primarily influenced by, you know, <clears throat> music from the Texas area and down in Mexico. Fantastic Chicken skin music's got this cheeky little cover. Skeletons on the front bone in their hair. No pun intended. Um, but yeah, really, really dope record. Super glad to have it. But like I said, that got me started on this whole Ry Cooter thing. Unbelievably, found this. Bam, Ry Cooter, bop till you drop. That's right. This, a little bit later, Chicken Skin Music is Rye's fifth record. This is his eighth record. This is a more commercial record. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, hubbub around this because it was done on the digital tape machine. Not unlike this record, boom, that we've talked about many times. Donald Fagan's The Nightfly. Now, irregardless of, is that even a word? Anyway. No matter what the hype sticker says, you know, I believe it used to say the first all digital recording, right? Rock recording, I think is what it actually said. But here's the deal. The 3M digital tape machine is like the precursor to what we would call a DAT tape. Which if you've not seen that, that looks like a VCR tape. If you know, <laughs> a VCR tape <laughs> uh, at one time we recorded music on those, and I actually worked in a DAT studio and um, for a while in the 90s, and DAT machines are incredible pieces of shit, so uh, they break down constantly, and uh, they do sound pretty good, actually, but basically what it is, is the digital side of it is controlling the recording um, process, you know, it's separating the tracks, and what it does really well is you can actually stop the tape in a very precise way and then punch in when you're fixing something, right? And this record was recorded on the 3M version of that machine. And interestingly enough, once it was on to the tape, they added no EQ, no limiting and compressing, and then just put it out exactly as it was on the tape according to um you know like discogs and wikipedia here's the thing about rack Hooter. i get on the internet i start trying to look at his gear and like um listen to interviews and stuff with him He's, he's a bit cryptic, and there's not a lot of stuff with Ry Cooter actually talking about the stuff. So it's he's he's a bit he's, he keeps his mystique. Okay, the mystique is heavy. Bob Two Drop sounds fantastic. It's on Warner. Yep. 
the first pressing. Uncompressed, no EQing via the digital tape machine. Last but not least, bam, Rakuter again, borderline. This one here is a promo copy. Look at this insane cover. You know, fighting the bull in the nude. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And, um, you know, another master class in um, guitar playing and roots music in general. This is a fantastic sounding record. Also, on Warner. All these Rakuter albums sound amazing. I've had the digital versions of them for years and they sound absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Rakuter. <sighs> this is not what I was looking for when I left the house, but it's what I came home with. Bam. And here's the thing I'm looking for, this is what I'm looking for. Isaac Hayes, Hot Buttered Soul. Yeah, I'm looking for that record, big time. And uh, I'll find it, I'll find it. Uh, I'm also looking for the first Meters record and uh, a few other uh, odds and ends, but hopefully I will get them soon. Now, we got the Record Store Day drop coming and I got a record show. So, it's gonna be some fantastic stuff coming up. I'm super excited about it. Uh, thanks for coming along on this little journey. Uh, check out Richard's video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it right there at the end. And um, yeah, guys, until we meet again. That's right, Bob out.